Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, Fairy Tale, Child of Light. Chapter 51, Let Me Come. A soft voice floated up, and a slender palm pressed on Natsu's shoulder, abruptly stopping the latter's next movements. A warm and genial breath rushed towards the face, bringing people a warm feeling of sunshine and spring breeze. Natsu was slightly taken aback, and the bloodshot eyes faded away, and the anger in his heart was gradually suppressed under this breath. Not only Natsu, but also Urza and others who were equally angry, suppressed the anger in their hearts and turned to look at Yi with a smile on his face. Magic Wind Wall. If this is what Aragor relies on, then I'm sorry, but you can return to the embrace of death. The tornado that envelops the entire government building whirls crazily, and the strong wind blows Yi's moon white robe, and the latter points out that there is a flash of spiritual light in the sky. In an instant, there seemed to be a hole in the air, and light escaped from it. With a loud sword cry, a dazzling golden lightsaber emerged. This is Amazon Cloud Sword. Even in the entire Kingdom of Fury, this sword has a very strong reputation. From the Holy Ten Magisters to the fledgling rookies, anyone who has heard the name of the Son of Light basically knows that he can condense a sword. The extremely sharp Xeon lightsaber does not require too many fancy swordsmanship. Under this sword, just relying on the Xeon's penetrating power, it can truly break through 10,000 spells with one sword. This point makes many sword-based magisters feel ashamed, because their seemingly dazzling sword moves are often not as real as Yi's sword. This is Tian Kongyan's sword. As a partner in the same guild as Yi, even Lucy, who has just joined, can recognize this artifact that belongs to Yi at a glance. Especially Urza, in her dressing space, there are many magic swords, especially her main armor, the armor of Dazzling Sky Wheel, which is completely dominated by swords, but these magic swords of hers are different from the Sky Kongyan sword. In comparison, it is no exaggeration to say that there is a difference between cloud and mud. It is no exaggeration to say that in front of Tian Kongyan sword, these magic swords are almost like paper. However, even Urza, who has the deepest understanding of Tiankongyan sword among the few people, did not notice that the Tiankongyan sword that appeared this time is slightly different from the previous ones. If you don't concentrate all your attention to observe, you will not be able to notice this difference at all. Come out. But even this slight difference made Tiankongyan sword appear more spiritual, and it brought about earth-shaking changes, and this was the result of Yi Yi's achievements in the past two years. Clang. In the air, I didn't see Yi making any movements, but I saw Kong Yunjian draw a circle of light spontaneously that day, and then slashed at the Mofungbi lightly with his sword. Zilla. In an instant, the surrounding air seemed to be torn apart. When the sword body covered with golden light pierced the magic wind wall, the tornado, which was still spinning at high speed, stagnated suddenly, stopped flowing in an instant, and tensed up. Then a golden sword mark surfaced on the magic wind wall. The golden sword marks converged down, and one could clearly see that there was a straight opening on the magic wind wall. Through this opening, the group of people could even see the blue sky outside. Brush. The moment the hole appeared, the entire magic wind wall gradually dissipated. The magic wind wall is tightly connected as a whole. Once a crack appears in one place, the next thing will be a complete collapse. Good. So strong. Compared with Urza and others who had seen the night before, this is the first time for Lucy to see the night, although whether it is before joining the guild or after joining the guild, you can hear all kinds of things about how strong the Sun of Light is. There are rumors about it, but now after experiencing it personally, I have a real cognition in my heart. In particular, there is also Natsu's borrowing flowers to present Buddha just now. Compared with each other, the shock formed is even greater. After breaking the magic wind wall with a single sword, Tiankongyan's sword turned around in a circle on its own, and then the sword flashed and disappeared, as if it had escaped into the void. The magic wind wall has disappeared, let's go rescue the president. Although Urza sighed a little, Yi's strength was still so unfathomable, but the most urgent thing to do now was to rescue the group of presidents on the other side of the canyon. Happy. The others thought the same, Natsu suddenly roared and jumped up. Love. The blue kitten happy. Flapping its little wings, holds Benjong Natsu. Speed, Max. This is the most powerful point of the, wing, magic used by the blue kitten Happy. The original small amount of magic power can be fully output, 
and it can increase its own speed to a very high level in a short period of time. Natsu, who is considered as the best partner by Happy, does not suffer from motion sickness. I saw Happy holding Natsu, a faint magic power emerged from the wings on the back, and then the whole thing turned into a streamer of light and shot out. Call. Behind the night, wings of light also instantly condensed, and the wings shook, and the body soared into the air. The little mice outside will be handed over to you, I will kill that Aragor. The few people only felt a blur in front of their eyes, and Yi's domineering voice was still echoing in their ears, but when they looked around, the latter's figure had long since disappeared. The remaining three, Urza, Grey and Lucy, don't have the means to fly at such a high speed, they can only run out, down to earth, in desperation, and at the same time start to accumulate energy, ready to deal with the few little mice outside that ye set up. Gillian City. At this moment, outside the government building, the members of Eisenwald who stayed there were all staring at the sky with dull expressions. There, the blue sky, white clouds, and clear air are completely normal scenes, but it is precisely this that surprised the members of Eisenwald, because what should have existed there originally was the high-speed flowing magic wind wall. But they only vaguely saw the appearance of a touch of golden light, and the magic wind wall dissipated in the air in an instant, as if it had never appeared before. Everyone's brains were in a panic, and they couldn't figure out what happened. But they didn't have time to figure it out, because at this moment the figures of Urza and the three had already appeared in their line of sight. Looking at the members of Eisenwald, Urza's eyes were full of killing intent, 923, in his eyes, his crimson hair moved with the wind, his jade hands stretched out, a red magic circle emerged, and he yelled softly, full of murderous intent, resounded in the air. Change. Night. Immediately afterwards, Grey and Lucy did not hesitate. Ice Lancers. An ice blue magic circle appeared between his palms. Compared with two years ago, Grey's modeling speed has been improved a lot. In an instant, ice spears shot out one by one. Open. The gate of Taurus, Taurus. Although in terms of strength, whether it is compared with Urza or Grey, Lucy is more than a step behind, but at this moment, she must do her part, take out one of the celestial spirit keys on her waist, the door opened, and the celestial spirit that was summoned was Taurus, one of the zodiac signs, a lecherous old bull. Needless to say, the battle in Ghost Lotus City. Not to mention that there is only one A-level magister in the middle and high-end combat power of the people left behind, even Aragor with level 5 strength is there in person. Facing the three people including the fairy queen, they are not opponents, let alone these little shrimps up. The other side. Although the past time was not long, Aragor directly hijacked this train and moved forward at full speed. Now he has reached the edge of the canyon. As long as he travels through the canyon tunnel, he can meet the regular presidents for a meeting the place. Standing on the top of the train, Aragor faced the wind, with the only black cloak on his upper body fluttering wantonly. When he saw the canyon not far ahead, he opened his mouth and showed a cruel smile. The glorious moment that belongs to me, Aragor, is coming soon. In his hand, he is also holding a dead wood-shaped flute with three black eyes on it and an ugly flute. This is lullaby known as, lullaby. Just as Aragor was immersed in his beautiful fantasy, a severe sense of crisis emerged in his heart, his face changed suddenly, and he immediately used the magic power of wind in his body to fly to the sky quickly. Boom. Next moment. The golden spear of judgment tore through the space, piercing the sky like a flying meteor, and finally fell down at the position in front of the train. In an instant, endless rays of light erupted, and the Eisenwald member sitting on the driving seat was instantly blinded and lost all magic power, and at the railroad track, Along the center, the entire land was broken, the train in the car was not braked at all, and fell down along the broken crack. There was another loud bang, and the train exploded under the valley. The car was destroyed and people were killed. Most of the Eisenwald people in the train went to another world without even knowing what happened. What is going on? Aragor, whose body was hanging high in the sky, witnessed this scene with his own eyes, his eyes were bloodshot, and he couldn't believe that the Eisenwald he had worked so hard to build was almost wiped out in this instant. Brush. On the ground below, a black shadow shuttled through it, and then formed a black magic circle on the ground, and a distressed figure rose from the ground. Shadow Mountain. Aragor looked at the people below and recognized them at a glance. 
It seemed that he managed to escape with his own magic at the last moment. Kagayama, what he uses is shadow magic, he should be regarded as an A-level magister in Eisenwald who is second only to Aragor in strength. The author wants to complain here, do you think this Kagayama is exactly the same as Shikamaru in Hokage? The most important thing is that even the ability is the same, really drunk. I didn't expect there to be a fish that slipped through the net, not bad. At this moment, a faint voice sounded in the air. Aragor and Yingshan, who survived by chance, looked towards the direction of the sound for the first time, and then saw a man in a moon-white robe standing on a small hill not far away, with the corner of his mouth there was also a faint smile. You did it. Seeing Yi, Aragor's eyes were bloodshot immediately, and he roared tearfully, even his original plan to deal with the presidents of the major guilds was temporarily forgotten by him. This person, different from Aragor's anger, Kugiyama's pupils shrank slightly when he saw Yi for the first time, and the latter's face gave him a very familiar feeling, as if the one in the rumors is the same, but there has been no news about that one for a long time, so he can't be sure. And he also knew that his president was probably overwhelmed by anger, and probably couldn't listen to his own words, so he could only pray in his heart that this was just an accident, and he just looked a little alike. Poochi. And at this moment, another ray of light streaked across 1.0 in the air. Love, there's no more magic. A cute and cute voice sounded, and then the wings on the back of the blue kitten happy disappeared, falling from the sky together with Natsu. Although the two of them set off one step ahead of Yi, they were obviously inferior to Yi in terms of speed. Which one is Aragor, for you, Mr. Natsu, stand up. After getting up from the ground, Natsu immediately yelled extremely arrogantly. Those who didn't know it thought it was to deter the opponent from the momentum first, but obviously it was just Natsu's hot-blooded single cell. Which one is Aragor, for you, Mr. Natsu, stand up. Natsu shouted wildly, and at the same time turned his eyes, raised and lowered, and saw Aragor in the sky and Shadow Mountain on the ground. After hearing Natsu's words, Aragor's entire face darkened, and now he only had anger in his heart. He glared at Natsu, and immediately saw the guild logo exposed on the latter's right shoulder. It's the fly from fairy tale. Just as the regular guild calls the members of the dark guild mice, in the eyes of the members of the dark guild, the former are disgusting flies. And when he heard the word, fly, Yi frowned imperceptibly, and then said softly, Natsu, the one that uses shadows is left to you. As for the one above, I'll be right. Oh. Natsu pouted, he actually wanted to deal with the above. Although he hadn't seen Aragor 03 before, it didn't mean he couldn't understand the form. The one in the sky with a scythe and no clothes on, no matter how you looked at it, his strength was stronger than the wretched looking creature on the ground. It has to be said that although Natsu is very single minded and extremely brainless in many cases, this does not mean that he is really stupid. On the contrary, he is still very smart at certain moments. Maybe this is the so-called great wisdom. However, even though Natsu guessed that the one above was Aragor, Yedu spoke, so he had to give up his original idea and turn his target to the shadow on the ground. Seeing Natsu looking at him, Kugiyama snorted coldly, because he was still not sure about Yi's identity, so he was still a little scared at this moment, but he didn't take it seriously when he was only facing Natsu. The former's fire dragon's reputation only exists in regular guilds and ordinary citizens. In the eyes of the major dark guilds, the only thing they fear is the sun of light. Finger shadow. Kagiyama flicked his ten fingers repeatedly, and the shadow under his feet immediately stretched out, turning into fingers and attacking Natsu. Seeing this, Natsu didn't have the slightest thought of dodging, and he punched out without hesitation, the casserole-sized fist was burning with flames, ten punches are to smash the fingers formed by those shadows into pieces. Before that, Natsu had been holding back a burst of anger, and now that the fight was officially underway, the flames in his heart suddenly burst into flames, and they rushed out, making it easier for Kugiyama to fight together. The battle between Natsu and Kugiyama was put aside for now, neither Yi nor Aragor paid any further attention after taking a look. Aragor's gaze was directly fixed on Yi on the hillside, with a strong murderous intent in his eyes, he grinned cruelly and said, boy who is in the way, let me send you to see the god of death. Yi still had that indifferent expression, he smiled slightly, and thought in his heart, 
I have been studying the light ball in my body for the past two years, and I have made some breakthroughs. Although this guy is weaker, he is still a, a rare test subject. Stormcoat. Although Aragor was angry, he did not dare to underestimate the enemy. The damage caused by the Spear of Judgment was still fresh in his memory, so he was the first to use the magic that strengthened his own defense. He waved the sickle in his hand, and the sickle spun crazily, driving the surrounding wind elements, forming a tornado and whirlwind, wrapping around his body, as if he had been covered with a wind armor. With the blessing of the Windbreaker, Aragorn's confidence instantly rose. The corners of his mouth curled up slightly, and he looked at Ye ahead through the Windbreaker, with a cold light in his eyes, as if he had seen the end of the latter being beheaded by him. Next, I will solve you with one move. Stretch both hands forward at the same time, the index finger and middle finger of both hands are close together and intersected at the same time. On the interlaced four fingers, a large number of wind elements gather to form a black magic circle. In an instant, a strong wind howls out. Wind flying magic that tears everything to shreds, emerald speed. Using the cutting ability of the wind to form a powerful storm, this move is Aragorn's most powerful attack magic, emerald news. A powerful storm hit, and the moon-white robe on his body was already buzzing. In response, a golden light appeared in Yi's eyes, and he also stretched out his hands, but the strange thing was that Yi's identity didn't seem to have any signs of casting magic. There is no magic circle formed at all. This scene fell into Aragorn's eyes, and a mocking smile appeared on his face. In his opinion, it was because he thought he couldn't stop his emerald news, so he chose to wait for El at the same place. However, the next moment, the smile on his face froze instantly, and then turned into disbelief. Only to hear Yi let out a soft drink, light. On his 657 palms, a large number of rays of light converged. When the so-called strongest cutting magic emerald green Shuin touched this light, it instantly melted like ice and snow. It's like being swallowed by light. This. Dot how is this possible? Aragorn murmured in disbelief, the emerald green news in his hands was broken just like that, even, the other party didn't even seem to cast magic. After obliterating the emerald green news, a smile appeared on Yi's face. This is one of the things he has comprehended from the light sphere in his body in the past two years. It can be called the original power, but in the world of fairy tale, it may be more appropriate to call it the secret of the rules a little. In this world, the formation of all magic must be traced back to the original magic, which is also the only magic born at the beginning of the world, that is the origin. The origin is the source of all magic in the world today, and it is also the, only, magic formed during the birth of the world. The magic that appears in later generations, whether it is ancient magic or lost magic, is created and born based on the origin. And the source is also the strongest magic, it has expelled all the elements of the world, wind, fire, thunder, lightning, rain, light and darkness, time, space, etc., are all in it. In a sense, the closer the magic that is circulated in the magic world, the closer it is to the original, the greater the potential of this magic. This is why the ancient magic and the lost magic are so powerful, because they are both it is the most primitive magic and the magic closest to the source. In the current magic world, there are very few people who know the existence of the source, only those old antiques who have lived for an unknown number of years. One of the most famous ones is Hades, the second generation president of fairy tale. The reason why Hades traveled the entire continent after handing over the position of president to Makarov and single-handedly created the strongest dark guild, Grimoire Heart, was because he understood the origin of magic and went deep into it, unable to extricate himself. Develop it more perfectly. As for the origin of magic, Hades called it the Abyss of Magic. Just like what he said to Makarov when he was on Sirius Island, I can dance with magic freely, which means that he has completely integrated magic with himself, and this is also the only way to understand the source of magic. An ability that can only be achieved by a powerful magister. He traveled the continent and collected countless lost magics, all in order to have a deeper understanding of the Abyss of Magic, that is, the power of origin. All kinds of lost magics used by seven kin of purgatory were taught by him personally. Seven people, all with lost magic, it can be seen how much lost magic he has mastered. During the Battle of Sirius Island, Hades took off the blindfold of his right eye and released the abyssal magic power in what he called the Devil's Eye. 
The magic he used plunged the entire fairy tale into despair. What is hidden in his devil's eyes is the original power of darkness that he has been searching for and exploring. In that battle, if his immortal magic devil heart hadn't been destroyed at the last moment, causing his stamina and power to be greatly exhausted, in the final result, the losing party would definitely be fairy tale's side. It's a pity that no matter how powerful he is, he can't get rid of the erosion of the years. After all, he is from the same era as the first president Mavis. If it weren't for the support of Devil Heart, he might have passed away long ago. But no matter what, from Hades, one can see how powerful the original power is. The magic that contains the power of the original source can be called the profound magic. For example, the profound meaning of dragon slaying magic in the dragon slaying magic can induce a little power of the original source. After all, the dragon slayer magic, when it reaches a certain level, but it can really slay a dragon. And to say that in the history of the mainland, the person who has comprehended the power of the source most profoundly is the most powerful black mage Zirf. For living magic, the most famous of which is the various powerful demons he created by using dark magic. In the past two years, Yi has discovered from the light ball in his body that there is the original power, the source of light. Wind, fire, thunder, light, darkness. These elements are strong and weak, and each has its own strengths. Although light is called the best element, it is still on the same boundary as other elements, and they all belong to natural elements. However, once one comprehends the source of light and can use the power of the source to integrate into the light element, it will be able to achieve a kind of sublimation, which means that it will surpass other elements. It is as if one is the superior element and the other is the inferior element. Of course, in the same way, if other elements can also absorb their corresponding original power, they can also surpass other elements, such as the original power of darkness that Hades comprehended. This is why Yi at that moment, even if he didn't cast any magic, and didn't use his own magic power to crush it, but simply used a small part of light magic power, he was able to easily cut the emerald green with powerful cutting ability. The reason why the message is directly wiped out. This feeling is really great. Every time you use the source of light, ye will become excited, this feeling is really wonderful, just as Hades said, as if he can dance with magic, ye feels that he is integrated with magic, this feeling is really obsessed, no wonder Hades went so far as to fall into darkness in order to pursue this power. Possessing this kind of power also means being able to cast a higher level of esoteric magic, which is exciting to think about. Yi is only initially mastering this original power now, but he is not discouraged at all. How long has he been comprehending it? How long has Hades comprehended it? Calculated by his age, Hades can be Yi's grandfather. If Hades, who was in the spaceship of the Grimoire Heart Guild at this time, knew that a boy who was only 18 years old had actually comprehended the power he had been chasing for his entire life, he would probably have died from vomiting blood. Backquote okay, the experiment is over, there is no need for you to exist anymore. Withdrawing the original light on both palms, Yi showed a wicked smile, but when this smile fell into Aragor's eyes, it looked so creepy. And after hearing Yi's words, he understood that Yi had never regarded himself as an opponent from the beginning to the end, and he was just a test product for him to test something. Now, he has completely lost the initial anger in his heart, and there is already a little speculation in his heart. Comes from the regular guild fairy tale, has the power to control the light, isn't this just? Son of light, escape, this was the only thought in Aragor's mind at this time. He output the magic power of wind with all his strength, and his body flew away in the opposite direction of Yi. It's just that it's too late to think of escaping now. If he could find a secret place to hide when Yi and others arrived in Ghost Lotus City, let Zhao, then he might be able to escape. But now, for a magister of this level in the Dark Guild, in the case of night, there is really no escape. Therefore, since he used the magic wind wall to design the night in Ghost Lotus City, the death penalty has already been sentenced to him. R. Without even looking at it, Yi Yi pointed out that the laser light shot out from between his fingers, even though Aragor had already flown to a very long distance, but still in an instant, the laser light passed through and hit the heart, the windbreaker on his body disappeared, Aragor's eyes dimmed, and he fell from the sky. At the same time, on his body, the ugly flute in the shape of dead wood also fell down. Bump. Aragor's body fell heavily onto the cliff, 
His eyes hadn't been completely closed, but he was already out of breath, and he was truly embracing the god of death. Lord Aragor. This scene clearly fell into the eyes of Kagayama who was fighting against Natsu, especially when the laser light pierced the sky, he had no doubts in his heart, that person was undoubtedly the son of light. For a moment, Yingxian was in a state of confusion. How dare you be distracted? Because the shadow magic used by Kagayama is too weird, although Natsu suppressed it with powerful dragon slaying magic during the battle, he failed to completely defeat it. At this moment, Kagayama was in a state of confusion because of Aragor's killing. How could Natsu, who is very sensitive to the timing of the battle, not seize the opportunity? Fire Dragon's Sword Horns Wrapped in flames all over, Natsu rushed up suddenly, knocking Kagayama flying with his head. Fire Dragon's Hook With one blow, Kagayama was knocked into the air, Natsu's body also rose into the air, and the flames all over his body moved towards his feet. With an incomparably cool somersault 640 kick, the burning flame feet hit Kagayama in the air heavily, the latter couldn't bear the double blow of flame and strength on the spot, rolled his eyes, and fell to the ground and left. Done. Falling steadily to the ground, the flame on Natsu's body was extinguished, and he posed a pause that ended the battle very well. I said Natsu, I just asked you to deal with a little mouse that uses shadows. Your efficiency is a bit too bad. If it were grey, the battle might have ended long ago. Seeing Natsu's smug smile, you walked over and hit him unceremoniously. And he knows exactly what to use to hit Natsu more effectively. Nani. Sure enough, after hearing the word grey that he said, Natsu didn't care about the posses, jumped up angrily, and then forcefully said, how can I not compare to that droopy eye, I was just in it's just a warm up, if I do it again, I'll be able to knock him down with one move. Hearing this, Yi just smiled and didn't speak, while the blue kitten happy stood happily behind Yi and laughed endlessly. In this regard, Natsu can only circle in place with a depressed face, a deaf. Night, Natsu. At this time, the voices of Urza and Grey came from afar. Both Yi and Natsu turned their gazes over, and saw smoke and dust billowing not far away. The three of Urza got a magic four-wheeled vehicle from nowhere, and they were frantically pouring magic power into it and galloping towards it. Where's Aragor? As soon as he got off the magic four-wheeled vehicle, Grey couldn't wait to ask. You guys are too late, Aragor has already been dealt with by me. Natsu was annoyed by Yi Xiaoxiao before, and when he saw Grey, he forcibly confronted him. Cut, it's up to you. How could Grey believe Natsu's words, gave him a disdainful look, and told the truth, I think you just defeated the guy on the ground in front, as for Aragor, I the bet is definitely defeated by the knight. After saying this, Urza on the side also nodded to express his approval. There was no way, because Kagayama, who was lying on the ground like a dead dog, had scorched marks on his body. It was obvious that this was Natsu's masterpiece. I didn't expect it to be solved so easily. Lucy said a little blissfully. It was really easy, she didn't do anything along the way, she just summoned a celestial spirit of Taurus out, and dealt with a few small shrimps, the A-level magister who stayed behind was directly given by Urza who was dressed as a night cut. Solved. That's not necessarily the case. Yi lightly glanced at Lucy, and said with a little playfulness. No, is it not resolved? Hearing Yi's words, Lucy shrank her neck immediately, and the fluttering expression just now disappeared instantly. Night. Urza also looked at Yi. Have you forgotten what our real goal is this time? Yi said. The real target. Isn't it these guys from Eisenwald? Natsu spared his head and whispered. Urza pondered for a moment, and finally remembered the target this time, she said, it's Lullaby. That's right. Where's Lullaby? The others also came to their senses, patronizing the person who eliminated Eisenwald, almost forgetting that the real target of their appearance this time is, curse song, lullaby. And at this moment, what a bunch of useless magisters, I can't bear it anymore, I want to devour you all myself. The sudden sound made Urza and the others startled, and then they felt that under the cliff, a terrifying and eerie magic power is erupting. At the bottom of the cliff, there was a flute like a dead wood, and the three skull eyes on the top were shining with faint light. Immediately above the canyon, a huge magic circle emerged, and dark purple arcs spewed out of it, as if something terrifying was about to emerge from it, generally. 
This huge magic circle even alarmed the presidents of the major regular guilds who were meeting at the other end of the canyon. What happened over there? What wicked magic? A group of presidents stepped out of the conference villa and came to the canyon one after another. Bump. In the sky, the huge magic circle disappeared, replaced by a huge tree-shaped demon with a body shell like dead wood. The three eyeballs on the top of the head were triangular and shone with dim light. It was the enlarged version of lullaby. And put it big. Urza and the others were staring at the huge demon that suddenly appeared. In front of this demon, they were like a few small ants, appearing extremely small. Isn't this lullaby? Ye whispered. Larabai. Several people looked at this huge demon with somewhat shocked eyes. Although they had been warned by Shihi on the train, seeing it with their own eyes, they still had some difficulty imagining that it was turned into a monster by a flute. Demon. It's too big. The long legs of Lucy, who was the least courageous, were already showing some signs of weakness. She quickly moved a few steps and got closer to Yi, as if she felt more secure here. Yossi, it's burning. Looks like a good opponent. Yi, don't make a move this time. After the shock, Urza, Natsu, and Grey's eyes turned hot. It was obvious that they were not at all afraid of the demon that was countless times bigger than their bodies, but were full of desire to fight. Facing the ugly and majestic demon lullaby, the three of Urza showed no signs of timidity, each of them was eager to fight, but before they could attack lullaby, Urza walked up to Yi, said to him solemnly. Yi, don't make a move this time. As soon as Urza's words came out, Natsu and Grey immediately echoed them. That's right. Just leave this lullaby to us. Yi, you can just watch the battle from the sidelines, it's time for you to see my progress. Obviously, several people knew that once Yi made a move, it meant that they had no room to make a move, so they, quickly echoed it when Urza spoke first. All right all right. Facing the three people's staring eyes at him, Yi could only shrug his shoulders helplessly. He knew the strength of this lullaby a long time ago, and let them fight if they wanted to. Yuck see, it's burning. After getting Yi's answer, the three of them cheered up violently, gearing up one by one, with a hot fighting spirit bursting out from their pupils. Change clothes, dazzling sky wheel. Fire dragon's iron fist. Ice lancers. Urza was in the center, Natsu and Grey were on both sides, the three of them formed a triangle, rushed out at the same time, and cast magic immediately. Lucy, look carefully, you will definitely need to join their cooperation in the future. Yi smiled at Lucy beside him. Yeah, Lucy stared at Urza and Urza with her eyes wide open. Lucy is a coward. Happy, who flew to Yi Yi's shoulders at some point, immediately complained cheerfully. You stinky cat. Lucy's face darkened, but this time she didn't complain with the blue kitten happy, but focused on watching the battle of Urza and others. At this time, the three of Urza were already fighting the huge demon lullaby. Facing the provocation of the three, Ants, to him, Lullaby was naturally furious, waving his huge limbs like dead wood, and let out deterrent roars and howls. In the distance, Eurobican Canyon. On a terrain that happened to be able to watch the battle here from the canyon, all the regular guild leaders who were holding a routine meeting appeared there. Is that the demon recorded in the Book of Zirf? Bob, the leader of the Blue Pegasus, guild in the shape of a shemale with a pair of small wings on his back, looked at the huge tree-shaped demon in the distance, and let out a cry. Disgusting sound. As soon as these words came out, it immediately caused a sensation among the guild leaders behind them. After all, most of them are just the guild leaders of small guilds. Maybe. This kind of weak strength, when hearing the appearance of the demon created by Zirf, the most vicious black mage in history, is naturally a lie. Makarov, the little guys who fought against that demon should be members of your guild. The speaker was a tall and thin man with a three-cornered hat. He was Goldmine, the president of the Quattro Cerberus Guild. Although he was far away, he could still clearly see the three demons around the demon lullaby. The figures are wrestling with him, flames, ice, and sword lights appear from time to time, and their characteristics are exactly similar to those of the three in fairy tale. Hey hey! Hearing Goldmine's words, Makarov laughed proudly, how about it, are you envious of the old man's guilds, which are more powerful than each other? Although Goldmine and Bob were a little unconvinced, they could only keep silent. Who made their guild really inferior to fairy tale? 
Whenever they think of this, the two can't help but lament Makarov's good luck. Most of the fastest rising magisters in recent years are from the latter's fairy tale, not to mention the strongest candidates. Even the fire dragon Natsu and Ice Grey who were fighting Lullaby at this time surpassed most of their guild members. Especially that one, who suffocated the younger generation of their guild. Perhaps it was the, Rock Iron, Jura of the, Lamia Scale, guild who won the position of the top 10 holy wizards not long ago. It was possible to compete with it just now. Moreover, they haven't heard about that person for two full years, and I'm afraid his current strength has become even more terrifying. Makarov, I don't know how strong that son of light in your guild is now. Bob still couldn't hold back and ask this question. Hey, you said ye. Makarov touched his chin and said with a playful smile, perhaps he has surpassed that old man, maybe he is even on par with those four fellows. Although Makarov was smiling when he said this, Goldmine and Bob have been good friends with Makarov since they were young, and they know his character very well. Saying like this, then it should be close to 10. Regarding this, they really didn't know what to say. At first they thought they had already overestimated Yi's strength. After all, Yi's strength was there, but they still underestimated Yi in the end. You must know that the four guys Makarov mentioned are the ones standing at the peak of the Ishgar continent, and they are also the top four in the Holy Ten. The ten holy magicians are the ten most powerful magicians on the continent recommended by the council, but there are many controversies among them. After all, there are only ten positions, but one continent. There are so many magisters in total, so naturally not everyone recognizes them. Zero. Moreover, there are many unspoken rules, one of which is that in order to control the balance of the major guilds in the kingdom, each guild can only be given a position in the holy field by the council. Otherwise, with the current strength of fairy tale, not to mention other things, just say that Gear Darth, at least has the position of the Holy Cross, plus the current Yi, and Mistogan, Laxus, which one has no strength to challenge the Holy Cross, if there is no restriction of this unspoken rule, I am afraid that a single guild of fairy tale can occupy nearly half of the top positions. However, although there are many controversies about the position of the Holy Ten, the most controversial ones are only the last six members of the Holy Ten. As for the top four, almost everyone who has seen them is recognized as the strongest four in Ishgar Grand Magister, also known as the Four Heavenly Kings of Ishgar. The Four Heavenly Kings of Ishgar are recognized as the strongest four magisters in the mainland. Now Makarov actually said that Yi's strength might be comparable to him. Although there might be some exaggeration in it, Considering the latter's age, Bob and Goldmine couldn't help but gasp. Especially Bob from Blue Pegasus, he clearly remembers that Yi Yi, the face member of his guild, seems to have a very unharmonious relationship with Yi Yi because of the Fairy Queen, and now he knows Yi Yi's strength is already strong at this point. He was thinking, should he beat and beat for a night after going back this time? However, after thinking about Yi Yi's character, Bob still said that when he encounters Ye in the future, he can ask for blessings. And when Bob and Goldmine fell silent at the same time, Makarov watched the battle of Urza three people in the distance of 243, with a smile, and at the same time he was muttering to himself. Ye's strength, I couldn't see through it two years ago, and his shots are getting less and less. I have never seen him shoot with all his strength. His current strength. Maybe it's even more exaggerated than what I said. In Bob and Goldmine's mind, Makarov's words should be an exaggeration of Yi's strength, but in fact, in Makarov's mind, Yi's strength may be even more exaggerated than what he said. After all, the four heavenly kings of Ishgar are too mysterious. There are very few people on the mainland who even know their names, and even fewer people have seen their strength. Therefore, in their cognition, the definition of the strength of these four people is also very different. There are only four words, mysterious and unpredictable. But Makarov is different from these people, because among the four heavenly kings of Ishgar, the fourth one is one of the four elders who founded the, fairy tale, union. Although the latter has retired for many years, it is said that he is now wandering in the deserts and devoting himself to greening the deserts. Makarov is the third generation president of fairy tale, and one of the original four elders was his father, so he has always been in contact with that one, naturally compared to other elders. The president of the guild needs to know more about the four heavenly kings of Ishgar. 
and as the protagonist of the discussion among the three guild leaders, Yi, he didn't know that because of his strength, the three guild leaders fell into a long thought. Yayan raised her eyes slightly, glanced at the location of the canyon inadvertently, then curled her lips and suddenly looked back, this group of presidents only watch the fun. Except for Yi, the rest of the people did not notice the group of presidents who were watching the battle on the canyon. Lucy had a serious expression on her face. Whenever the three of Urza issued a coordinated blow, she couldn't help but let out a cry of surprise. And the blue kitten Happy is still cute and lying on Yi's shoulder, with a lazy expression, very comfortable. At this time, the battle between the three of Urza and Lullaby has reached a fever pitch. Sword of Sky Wheel Cycle Countless magic long swords surround Urza's body, turning into sword lights all over the sky, intertwined together, and you frantically penetrate the tree-shaped demon lullaby. The shape of ice, ice drinking fountain. His hands hit the ground suddenly, forming a magic circle under lullaby. In the next moment, a large number of ice thorns spewed out like a spring erupting, freezing part of lullaby's huge body. Natsu, Urza and Gray shouted at the same time. Yuxi, leave the rest to me. Natsu laughed and jumped up, with flames burning in both his left and right hands. The flame of the right hand and the flame of the left hand, merge the two flames together, die lullaby. Fire dragon's radiant flame. The flames from the left hand and right hand merged together, forming a huge fireball on Natsu's hands, which was thrown down suddenly by him. The fireball burned the tree-shaped demon lullaby in an instant, and its huge body dissipated in the sky and the earth. In the end, it returned to the ugly flute shape, but the three black eyeballs on it were completely shattered, which also means that the demon recorded in the book of Zirf has completely disappeared in this world, unless Zirf creates him again. Yeah, Lucy cheered excitedly the moment Lullaby was eliminated. On the canyon, the guild leaders who witnessed this scene were all amazed. After all, except for the guild leaders of a few large guilds, the rest of the guilds had no way to deal with a demon like Lullaby. It's a little bit better to be in a town at level 5, and it's probably a disaster if you don't have one. Is this the strength of the first guild, fairy tale? One of the young guild leaders couldn't help but mutter. This is really terrible. Another little president echoed. Of course, when lamenting the strength of fairy tale, many people also noticed another place. However, you've done it too well. I saw that at the place where the battle with lullaby was fought, the flames continued, and several hilltops were destroyed by the battle of several people, especially the place where the fire dragon's Wang Yin was hit, leaving a hole with a diameter of tens of thousands the huge pit in MI, plus the orbit that was originally destroyed by Yi's judgment spear, that area can really be said to be a mess. Makarov originally wanted to continue to show off proudly, but after hearing this, his face turned livid, and he wailed, it's about to bleed again. And Yi in the distance didn't know Makarov's wail. When the three of Urza made the final blow, he already knew the result, and then walked towards the magic four-wheeled vehicle parked beside him calmly. Start the car, let the old driver drive, the speed is guaranteed. Sitting in the main driver, Yi smiled and shouted to everyone. Come on, Lucy, who is closest to Yi 1.2, directly occupied the seat of the co-pilot, and Gray, who arrived at the end, made a big jump and lay on the roof of the four-wheeled vehicle. The happy and excited look, apart from seeing Natsu who is about to ride again. Let's go. The few people who seemed to be in a good mood because of defeating Lullaby didn't notice the playful smile on the corner of Yi's mouth, and then the huge magic power of light was input into the magic four-wheel drive vehicle. In the next moment, the speed of the magic four-wheeled vehicle soared to the extreme in an instant, turning into a phantom, followed by the screams of several people. Ah, ye, slow down, vomit. After Fairy Tail and his team solved lullaby, the army of the kingdom and the council came late. After learning about the specifics of what happened here from the presidents, they left some to clean up the battlefield, the rest of the people immediately went back to report the situation here to the higher-ups. EPA, Council Fury Division. In the dimly lit hall, on the magic circle full of light, nine circles of light condense out, and on each circle of light, there is a figure appearing, all dressed in black and white robes, they are the nine members of the Council of Fury MP. Even if they are members of Parliament, they usually don't stay in the Senate most of the time, but do their own things, and only gather together when there are special matters that need to be discussed. 
Even so, most of them are no more than appears in the form of thoughts. And in the past two years, what brought them together to discuss the most times was the trouble from the strongest guild, fairy tale, in the main country. This time is no exception. Fairy tale is causing trouble again. When he appeared on the first day of the junior high school, a congressman said, but his tone was extremely flat, and it wasn't the first time he said such words. Although the opponent is Eisenwald, who is the Dark Guild, he did too much in the end. The person who spoke was the old man with a beard who was at the forefront at this time, and he was also the second member of the council. Under such circumstances, he is the person with the greatest authority on the scene. This time, the demon in the Book of Zirf unexpectedly appeared. How did the members of the Dark Guild get that kind of thing? Said the little old man Ujima in the sixth seat. This little old man is not only comparable in height to Makarov, but the two are also very good friends, so in previous meetings against Fairy Tail, he always stood by Fairy Tail and stood for Fairy Tail. Said a lot of good things. The occurrence of such a thing should be attributed to the management's dereliction of duty. If I insist on counting it, I think some of you here will lose their heads. He has short sky blue hair, handsome appearance, and a very conspicuous tattoo on his right eye. When he spoke, his eyes glanced at a member of the House of Representatives inadvertently, and there was a teasing smile on the corner of his mouth. Zikrian, what you said is too much. Michelle, who was in the third seat, yelled sharply. There is no way, when it comes to the management, especially the management of ancient relics like lullaby, once there is a problem, it must be investigated. If so, then I am afraid that he will be the first one to investigate. Chi Kelane, one of the ten holy magic guides, and the youngest of the holy ten. It can be said that this holy cross was specially given to him by the council, and Chi Kelane and one of the counselors had it at a young age. With its extremely powerful strength, it can be said that the council's launch of it may not have the intention of suppressing the younger generations of the major guilds. And they have indeed achieved this point. After all, among the major guilds, among the new generation of mages who can ascend to the Holy Ten position, only, Rock Iron, Jura is still at the bottom. Because it is also much bigger. It's a pity that without the existence of Yi, the, Child of Light, Zekalane could indeed be undisputedly called the number one person of the younger generation, but helplessly, although the former did not receive the title of Holy Ten, he still had to win in terms of reputation. Over him, as for strength, the two have never confronted each other, so naturally they have their own opinions. It can also be seen from this that the official council attaches great importance to Zekalane, but they would never have thought that the youngest, Holy Ten, they forcibly pushed out would have another identity, that is, an undercover agent. Zekalane, whose real name is Jello. Fernandez, was one of the child laborers who were arrested by the cult group together with Urza to build the R system, also known as Tower of Heaven, when he was a child. He has suffered many inhuman abuses, although they finally succeeded in awakening magic and killing all the cult groups that controlled them, they also fell into it for various reasons. And Zikrian is the thought body produced by Jellal spending most of his magic power when he became an adult and he worked hard to mix into the council, and showed great strength. Under the double tacit cooperation with the council, he got a, holy cross, title, has been carrying out his own plan secretly. If the council finds out that the, talent, they have carefully cultivated is actually an undercover agent, how would they feel? Only relying on two or three people defeated the demon lullaby in the book of Zirf. The strength of fairy tale is really as strong as ever. Moreover, it seems that even that one appeared this time. I'm curious what you want how to execute him. With that person's character and strength, if you really provoke him, I am afraid that everyone here will not be able to bear the consequences. At this time, the speaking voice was a charming female voice, located at the last seat of 690 among the nine people, with authentic black and long straight, enchanting figure, beautiful face, and a unique alluring temperament exuding from her body. And when he spoke, his tone was the same as that of Jellal, with a playful tone, but when he mentioned, that one, because of the dimness of the hall, even Jellal, who was closest to him, did not notice what she saw in her eyes. A trace of fear was revealed. And, like Jellal, her identity is also an undercover agent, and what is even more powerful is that he is also a double undercover agent. 
In Jalal's heart, this person is on her side and fully assists her to complete the plan, but in her heart Jalal it's just a clown, and Jalal has a great credit for his personality change. Because, her true identity is the head of the grimoire heart, seven kin of purgatory, one of the three major dark guilds in the Ramal Alliance. Her name is Altir Milkovich. Altir Milkovich. Her mother is Grey's master Uru, a legendary ice-shaped magister. If she is not dead now, she should at least have the strength of the Holy Ten. The origin of Ultir's name is because when it was born, Ulu could not stop crying, which made Ulu feel the joy of life, so it was named Ultir, which means Ulu's tears. It is precisely because of this that in the previous fairy tale post bars and Ultir post bars, fairy tale fans who love Ultir call her Sister Tears, not only because of her name, but also because of the story about her. How many tears of fairy tale fans shed? Ultir can be said to be a character with a very tragic illusion in fairy tale. In the first half of her life, she has been living in misunderstanding and hatred for her mother. It was not until she learned the truth that she was freed from it and decided to devote the rest of her life to it was used in redemption, and the guild, Sin of the Witch, between the regular guild and the dark guild was established for self-salvation. Especially in the Dragon King Sacrifice, just like the name of the time taboo magic, the last hour, she casts, the time of the whole world is turned back for one minute for this, and what she paid in the end, jimping is all her life. The end of life. At this time, because of Ultir's words, the council has fallen into silence. Whether it is those who have spoken before or those who have not spoken, they are all dumb and silent now. Although Ultir did not clearly say who, that one, is, everyone present knew it well and thought about the consequences Ultir said. If that person was really angry and attacked them unscrupulously, then the result. As those who control the great power of the council, they can be said to be all human beings, and each of them is a master at playing political tricks. But when it comes to strength, they have been pampered and pampered for many years. They don't have any strength at all, but facing the real situation they are powerful magisters, but they are absolutely no match for them. After a long time, someone finally broke the silence. The speaker was Michaelo, the third seat who had scolded Jello before. Man, how dare you do something to us? Having said that, no matter who was present, they could hear that Michaelo's tone obviously lacked the toughness at the beginning, and there was a taste of turning serious and inward, and the meaning of it was self-evident. Jello smiled sarcastically, without saying anything, and said directly, then why not invite him to try and see if he dares to do anything to us. HMPH. Hearing this, Michaelo glanced at Jello with a gloomy face, then snorted and stopped talking, and seeing this, the sarcasm on Jalal's face became more intense. Then what do you plan to do with Zekalane? The first white-bearded old man glanced at Michaelo, then turned his gaze to Jalal, and asked. There was a smile on Jalal's handsome face, and he said, in my opinion, it's better to arrest Urza. Scarlet in the name of destroying public property. It's enough to, condolence. In the council, there was another brief silence before the voices of the members of the council resounded. Seconded. 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 Magaria. Fairy tale. Sitting in front of the bar, he squinted his eyes and leaned against the bar, his lazy expression looked extraordinarily comfortable, and all of this was naturally, attributed, to Mira who was helping Yi drink at the side. And the result of all this is naturally that the little girl Lissana always looks at the two with suspicious eyes, which makes both Yi and Mira feel extremely embarrassed and full of guilt. And when entering the guild at night, those old drivers in Macau directly gave the former a thumbs up, which meant self-evidently, after all, Myra's changes were not insignificant after she broke her body. The smooth and full skin becomes more supple, the temperament of the body becomes more mature and attractive, and the happy smile on the face is always revealed, the juniors who have no experience in this field naturally don't understand it, but they can't escape it. The eyes of these old birds in Macau. This also made Macau and others sigh. They didn't expect the super popular beauty Mira in the guild to be taken down so quickly, and she was taken down with her body in mind. If this news is known to those wolf fans who love Mira I'm afraid I won't be able to eat for days and nights. People are really more popular than people. Thinking about them again, hey, I don't want to come, it's all tears. Dot dot. Here, the white jade hand stretched out, 
and a glass of bright red wine was placed in front of Yi, accompanied by Myra's melodious voice like a clear spring. Thanks, hey. Yi picked up the goblet with one hand, took a sip of the mellow red wine, and directly held Myra's jade hand with the other hand, rubbing it lightly, the soft and boneless feeling was very comfortable. However, just after the two of them secretly warmed up for a while, the door of the guild was pushed open at this moment. Yi's brows were slightly frowned, and Mira, who had been looking at Yi, was a little puzzled when she saw this, but she immediately felt relieved when she saw the person at the door. A strange man in a toad costume walked in, followed by two rows of robed guards, who were the troops of the council. Entering the guild, the toad man first glanced, Li Wanghao, at the people in the guild, and finally fixed his gaze on the figure with crimson hair, and announced, I am the envoy of the council, and I am talking about the Eisenwald a few days ago. Arrest Urza. Scarlet on suspicion of damage to objects and eleven other counts. From the moment the toad man appeared, everyone in the guild looked at each other in surprise and doubt, and became quiet, and when the former's words were spoken, the silence suddenly turned into a tomb of anger. But before they could take any action, an impatient yell sounded first. Roll. Roll. The scolding sound mixed with a strong tone of impatience resounded throughout the guild. Not only the toad messenger from the council, but even the fairy tale guild's own people were stunned, and the few people who were about to get angry temporarily restrained what they were about to say. All eyes turned over in unison, and finally fell on Yi, who made the sound of, rolling, just now. The toad face of the toad envoy suddenly darkened, thinking that as the envoy of the council, although his status in the council is not high, he still bears the name of the council, and under the false prestige of a tiger, he used to come and go in and out of the council. All the major guilds in the kingdom were treated with courtesy, and at worst he dared not speak out. After all, he represented the council that supervised all the regular guilds in the kingdom of Fury. Not every guild is as unscrupulous as the folks at Fairy Tale. Toad Messenger has also learned about Fairy Tale, and knows that most of the people in Fairy Tale are daring and reckless, so before he came here, he never thought that he would be treated politely, but even if it was the worst he had ever imagined, as a result, I never thought that someone would tell me to scroll as soon as I entered the door. The reason why he didn't think of it was because it was not only slapping him in the face, but also slapping the face of the council behind him. This man, how dare he? Toad Messenger was very angry in his heart, but when his eyes fell on Yi's body, there was a sudden change. This face was no stranger to him. Just before he came here, he had been specifically confessed to offend him. Anyone else is fine, but this person must not be offended, otherwise even the council will not be able to keep him. So when he saw Yi, no matter how angry he was, he still forcibly endured it. After thinking about it, he acted as if he hadn't heard the word. Scroll, and recounted Zeon's words, the Eisenwald case, the crime of damage to objects, and the eleven counts. It's just that before he could speak, the Yi interrupted him forcefully, are you deaf? The corner of Toad Messenger's mouth twitched, he really couldn't say the rest of the words, and he didn't dare to say any more. And at this time Yi had already got up and walked towards this side, every step he took, the Toad Messenger felt as if a huge boulder fell down on his heart and the surrounding air became extremely thick, when he walked in front of him, his body was already covered in cold sweat, and he had difficulty breathing. Master Protector. However, they saw the council troops lined up in two rows behind the toad messenger stepped forward, blocking the toad messenger in the night, as if they couldn't feel the pressure on the toad messenger. The corners of Yi's lips curled up slightly, as if he couldn't see the council troops in front of him at all. His eyes fell on Messenger Toad indifferently, and said word by word, give you three seconds to think, get lost, or die. Don't be unreasonable to the Messenger. At this time, the troops of the council fully demonstrated the behavior that a bodyguard should have, pointing the spears in their hands at Yi. Seeing this, Yi frowned slightly. It had been a long time since no one dared to point at Yi like this. He's gone, this feeling, he doesn't like it very much. Fortunately, he didn't need to make a move, someone had already done it for him. Eat me with a punch. Bump. The casserole-sized fists directly hit the obstructors who were pointing their spears at the knight, knocking them down with one punch. The person who made the shot was none other than Natsu. Yi glanced at Natsu appreciatively, and whispered, Ah. You unreasonable people. 
Some of the people who were knocked down by Natsu got up again and looked at Yi and Natsu angrily. At this time, Gray walked over calmly and said, Hey, don't you realize that your messenger is gone? Nani. Hearing Gray's words, the members of the council were stunned and looked around, only to find that there was no sign of the toad messenger. Master messenger is there. Finally a sharp-eyed person saw the figure of messenger toad, but it was already on the street more than 10 meters away, and he was running with his feet 80 at this time. It turned out that when Yi shouted, 3, the messenger toad happily chose to temporarily retreat, based on the supreme philosophy of cherishing life, because he didn't dare to bet at all. Maybe Yi just scared him, but maybe three seconds later, he would really kill himself, so, for his bright future, he made the most wise choice in his life. Of course, in his heart, he has already started sorting out the criticisms of Yi after returning to the council, and then everything will be left to the members of the council to decide. All he can do is to add embellishments to the criticisms. Master Messenger, wait for us. At the gate of the guild, seeing this scene, the crowd didn't know what was going on, and they all ignored it without reason, and followed in the footsteps of the toad envoy to catch up. Hey, Yi, what you did is really beautiful. As soon as these people left, someone in the guild shouted, and immediately after, the rest of the people also echoed and booed. It was really relieved, seeing this posture, it is clear that almost everyone in the guild is not interested in the members of this council. You want to capture Urza, I should have beaten that frog up. Natsu waved his fist, dissatisfied with the troops that only hit the council, and wanted to beat up the envoy. You still beat some people anyway. Gray curled his lips and said, but he didn't beat anyone. Brother Yi, you were so handsome just now. Lissana shook her small fist, her eyes were full of little stars, Mira looked at Yi with a smile but didn't say anything. And at this moment, as the fuse of this incident, Urza came over. Yi, in fact, you don't need to do this, even if I go, they won't do anything to me, it's just a formality. Urza is very familiar with the usual practice of the council. Yi naturally understood the meaning of it, he smiled disdainfully and said, I just don't like the way those people in the council act, they just point fingers all day long, and when they really need to contribute, they just shrink their heads one by one. Like a tortoise, people who still want to arrest me now, I will put my words here now, as long as I am around for a day, people from fairy tale will not be able to enter the council, if they are not convinced, then come and arrest me. If they are not convinced, then come and arrest me. When Yi Yi's powerful voice fell, everyone in the guild once again turned their attention to the former, and being affected by the words, they all had a strong sense of superiority in their hearts as members of fairy tale, and an undeniable sense of pride. However, in Yi's domineering words, some people felt some other meanings. With a playful smile in the corner of Myra's eyes, she glanced between Yi and Urza, gave Yi a self-understanding look, then turned around and returned to the bar. Lissana pouted and looked at Yi with resentment in her eyes, and immediately turned around and left with a small moan. Even Urza, who usually has a cute and cute attribute, felt a little different fluctuation in his heart when he said the words, my person, at night, but after glancing at Mira, he secretly thought, maybe it is I think too much. After clearing his mind, Urza calmly said, anyway, thank you this time. Calm down. Yi waved his hand casually, and then returned to the bar. Even he himself was a little unclear about what he meant when he said those three words, or, in his subconscious mind, the queen was his what about people, dirty. HMPH. Lovely brother Yi. As soon as she got back to the bar, Lissana, who was sitting beside her, couldn't help snorting, obviously still brooding over what she just said, the little girl is still very sensitive. What are you thinking about? Yi laughed, and put her hands on Lissana's silver hair habitually. Lissana seemed to want to avoid it in anger, but she was a little bit reluctant, and her cute little face seemed extremely tangled. However, Yi, what you do is equivalent to slapping the council in the face. Those old guys are the ones who care about face the most. Tell me, will they? There was a hint of worry on Myra's pretty cheeks, she is also very aware of the style of the council, but she doesn't pay too much attention to the matter between Yi and Urza. It's okay. Yi gave Mira a reassuring look, and at the same time a cold light flashed in his eyes, I really hope they can come to trouble me. Seeing this, Mira gave Yi a blank stare. She understood that she was worrying in vain, 
and hoped that the council would come to trouble her. I am afraid that the entire kingdom of Fury is the only one in this family. But at this moment, Myra's eyelids were heavy, and a sense of tiredness suddenly rose, and then she immediately mobilized the magic power in her body to resist, but she still couldn't suppress the tiredness. There was a hint of clarity in her eyes, and she seemed to understand what happened. This Mistogan, every time I come back, I do something. Ye couldn't help but slander, but his face didn't show tiredness like Myra's. He held Myra's delicate body in his arms and said softly, sleep in peace. N. Smelling Yi's familiar smell, Mira didn't resist anymore, let her eyelids fall, and fell asleep with a peaceful face. And on Yi's left hand, Lysina is still hugging Lysina who fell into a coma early due to lack of magic power. I'm afraid I'm going to be jealous again. It's a pity that now, in the guild, except for Laxus who stayed on the second floor, the President Makarov, and three people including him, everyone else has fallen into a coma. This weird situation is obviously man-made. Powerful sleeping magic, mist magic Nuraku. Sure enough, the next moment, there was the sound of steady and heavy footsteps coming in from the gate of the guild. With a magic wand on his back and a black robe covering his body, only a pair of piercing eyes are revealed on his face, and his whole body is filled with a sense of mystery. This outfit is whoever it is if it is not Mistogan. After Mistogan came in, he was not surprised at Yi who was not affected by his drowsiness magic, but walked to the task board on his own, picked a task list at random and showed it to Makarov, I have accepted this task. Well, Makarov narrowed his eyes and nodded slightly, and then said, remember to unlock the magic. Mistogan nodded, turned around and was about to leave, but at this moment he spoke. I said Mistogan, it's hard to see you once, and you won't even say hello. Leaning on the bar at night, with a wicked smile on her face, and with her hands holding a pair of sister flowers, she looks like a swinger. Mistogan paused, turned to look at Yi, and said, long time no see, Yi. That's right, we're all our own people, why are you so shy? Yi laughed and teased, but, having said that, it's a pity not to be a flower picker with your magic. Mistogan was taken aback for a moment, but he couldn't react at the first time but soon he understood the meaning of Yi's talk, and then immediately rolled his eyes, ignoring Yi, a black-bellied guy, and using powerful sleep magic Wu Wanalua went to pick flowers, thanks to this guy who figured it out. But if you think about it carefully, it is indeed very convenient. Seeing the figure of Mistogan leaving, Yi couldn't help laughing out loud. For this otherworld partner, Yi couldn't help but tease him every time, full of vicious humor. After Mistogan left, Wuhuan Naraku's magic was naturally picked up, and everyone in the guild woke up one after another, but most of them were confused the moment they woke up, obviously still out of the situation. That feeling, it's Mistogan, that's right. Urza frowned after waking up. For this mysterious partner, she always had a familiar feeling, but she had never seen his true face. What happened just now? Lucy, who hadn't gotten rid of her rookie identity, asked curiously. It's Mistogan, one of the strongest candidates for fairy tale. Said the blue kitten happy. The strongest candidate. It has been nearly a month since I joined fairy tale, and I have heard about the strongest candidate Lucy several times, and he is one of them, and it is also the most popular and prestigious, and then I have heard about it several times but never once the laxus I have seen, next, is this Mistogan. But is this Mistogan always like this every time he comes back? This is too strange. Lucy couldn't help complaining. Strange. Natsu rubbed his head, but didn't find anything strange. Lucy suddenly had a black hair, and continued, don't you all wonder what he looks like? When you say that, I'm really curious. Gray rubbed his chin and said, although I haven't seen it, I know someone must have seen it. That night, night, the blue kitten happy flew over and landed on Yi's shoulder, squinting her eyes cutely, and asked, did you not fall asleep just now? Yi first glanced at Happy, then glanced lightly at Natsu and the others who were pricking up their ears to eavesdrop, then smiled knowingly, and said, of course I'm not asleep. Did you know what Mistogan was like that night? After hearing Yi's affirmative words, Natsu couldn't help asking loudly. Yi showed a meaningful smile, nodded, and said, of course I know. There was a sudden uproar in the guild, as if knowing what Mistogan looked like was a very remarkable thing. 
It's amazing, then it means that only Yi in the entire guild has seen Mistogan's, 780, appearance. Lucy said in a tone of admiration in amazement. Hearing this, Yi just shook his head, smiled and said nothing. On the contrary, at this time, a slightly unruly voice came from the second floor of the guild. Newcomer, Knight is not the only one who has seen Mistogan. Lucy was slightly startled, because the sudden appearance of the voice was extremely unfamiliar to her, but other people in the guild recognized the owner of the voice directly, but each of them was equally surprised. Laxus, you are in the guild. Everyone turned their eyes to the second floor, with a domineering figure, short blonde hair, a lightning scar on his right eye, and earphones with rock and classical music on both ears, it was Laxus. Is this person Laxus who is the strongest candidate with Yi and Mistogan? Lucy glanced at Laxus carefully and murmured in her heart. She had heard this name many times during this period, but it was her seeing myself for the first time. It seems that Laxus has also seen Mr. Suffer. Grace said. From this point, one can see the gap in the strength of the members of the guild. Obviously, both Laxus and Yi are stronger than the rest. Mistogan is very shy, so you don't have to ask too many questions about what he looks like, Laxus said. Yes, Mistogan is an extremely shy boy, I think the president knows this too. Yi Shi laughed cruelly, then turned his gaze to Makarov. Regarding this, Makarov actually nodded, but didn't say much. Seeing this situation, although everyone was still curious, they did not continue to ask. Laxus, then fight me again. After leaving the topic of clinker aside, Natsu, a hot-blooded boy, immediately pointed at Laxus and shouted with a grin. Cut. Laxus just glanced at Natsu lightly, and then turned his eyes away. Although he didn't say a word, everyone present can feel the disdain in Laxus' eyes and the, cut, when he looked at Natsu, the contempt contained in it. Even Natsu, who is a single-celled creature, felt Laxus disdain to fight him at that moment. It's unreasonable. Natsu shouted with fire in his eyes, Laxus, come down and fight me. Cut. There was another sound of contempt, but this time Laxus spoke, the corners of his lips curled slightly, and he said, if you have the ability to come up, I will reluctantly fight you. Yaxi. Natsu was in a rush of fighting. He only heard that Laxus was willing to fight with him. He completely forgot that the second floor is still a forbidden area for him. He kicked his feet suddenly, swung his right fist, and jumped towards go upstairs. Bump. In the air, a giant golden palm was condensed out of thin air. Natsu's jumping body had not waited for him to step on the second floor before he was pressed down heavily by the giant golden palm. After clapping one palm, the giant golden palm disappeared out of thin air. The time between the front and the back was just a flash. If you didn't look carefully, you might think it was a hallucination. Yi got up at this moment and walked over, and said with a smile, Natsu, you don't have the right to go up to the second floor right now. Different from Naxus, Natsu still respects Yi very much. Seeing that Yi said so, he could only look at Laxus angrily, and then sat down with a depressed face, but his dark eyes it is constantly shaking, and the undeveloped brain seems to be thinking about something. Ha ha ha, the brat who can't even go up to the second floor, even wants to fight me. Seeing Natsu's depressed look, Laxus suddenly laughed mockingly. Laxus, enough is enough. Makarov said suddenly at this moment, and he looked at his rebellious grandson with deep helplessness in his eyes. TCH, it's really boring. Laxus did not go to argue with Makarov, after a light spat, he turned to look at Yi, his tone was not as playful as before, but rather solemn, Yi will fight with me again when you have time. As soon as Laxus' words fell, the entire guild fell into silence. They all looked at Laxus in surprise, as if they didn't expect the always proud latter to challenge Yi. Immediately, their eyes turned to Yi, wanting to know how the latter would respond, even Natsu, who was still depressed just now, was no exception. But Yi himself was not surprised at all, just smiled casually, and said, Okay, you decide the time, let me know when you are ready, and I will accompany you anytime. After getting the answer he wanted, a smile appeared on the corner of Laxus' mouth, he nodded at Yi, and then turned back to the second floor. This time, with the challenge of 0.9 Yi, the entire guild suddenly boiled. This is a battle between the strongest candidates. 
If the battle broke out between these two, it would not be an exaggeration to say that it would be earth-shattering, and they would all be able to witness that thrilling scene with their own eyes. Yi, you have to work hard. Blast Laxus. It's burning, Yi, don't let me down. In the guild, there were almost all shouts of cheering for the night, regardless of the feelings of Laxus who was still on the second floor at this time, but according to the latter's temperament, he would not care about these things. Unlike Laxus who hardly communicates with everyone on weekdays, although Yi does not spend much time in the guild, the latter's powerful but easy-going personality is loved by almost everyone. Loved, even loved. Therefore, after Laxus declared war on Yi, it was not surprising that Yi's cheers resounded in the guild. At dusk, before leaving the guild, Lucy found Mira secretly, and asked a question in a low voice, Miss Mira, who do you think will win the battle between Yi and that Laxus? After finishing speaking, Lucy was still worried that Mira might misunderstand, and immediately added in a hurry, I don't doubt Yi's strength, I just don't know anything about that Laxus strength, so I want to ask you. This, Mila naturally knew that Lucy had no bad intentions. After thinking about it, she said, whether it's Yi or Laxus, they are the strongest candidates for fairy tale. Both of them are extremely powerful, but the two of them I don't really know what the true strength of him is. Speaking of this, Mira paused, and continued, but he is the person with the strongest magic talent I have ever seen. Since I knew him, I have only seen one strong man surpassed by him, and those those surpassed by him have never surpassed them, and the gap in strength between them will only widen until the moment when they can only look up at Yi. Lucy nodded thoughtfully, then seemed to understand the meaning of Myra's words, grinned and said, Mira, you mean that this dual knight will surpass Laxus, and Laxus will never be able to catch up with Yi in the future, right? Mira shook her head with a smile, and said in a slow voice, Lucy, you just joined Fairy Tale not long ago, and there are some secrets that you don't know much about. What? Lucy looked confused. Mira said, I also heard from the older generation in the guild that it was the first time for Laxus to take the S-level assessment test. I don't know the reason. Yi, who hadn't joined the guild at that time, became Laxus' final exam, opponent. What about the final result? Lucy couldn't wait to ask, did Yi win? N. Under Lucy's expectant eyes, Mira nodded, and then said something that surprised Lucy even more, at that time, Yi was only 12 years old. After finishing speaking, Mira ignored Lucy, who was completely dumbfounded, and turned around to leave. The moment she turned around, her bright eyes showed unwavering light, no matter who the opponent is, Knight, will not lose. This is her almost absolute trust in Yi, and to a certain extent, this kind of trust can even be said to have reached the level of, brainless. Lucy, who stayed in place, was dumbfounded, but at the same time, there were various complicated thoughts beating in her mind. Although she doesn't know what the so-called level assessment test is now, but when it comes to S level, she knows that it is not within her reach now. The only thing she remembers now is that Yi defeated Laxus at the age of 12. According to what Mira said, those who are surpassed by the knight will never be able to overtake them back, and those who are weaker than the knight from the beginning. Lucy seemed to be vaguely aware that the ending of this battle had already been written before it even started. Time gradually came to night. Even Fairy Tail, the busiest guild, became quiet at this time. Hoo hoo. In the dark and empty guild, there was a slight sound of wind suddenly. It can be vaguely seen that in the darkness, a petite and exquisite figure is flying towards the second floor of the guild, the pupils are very bright even in the dark night, it seems to indicate that these are not human eyes. With a soft sound of, tear, that petite and exquisite figure quickly left the second floor. Da da. The moment after the figure left, two footsteps sounded at the same time on the second floor of the guild, that is to say, there were no less than two people staying in the guild in the middle of the night. The blue cat. It's the pet of the Natsu kid who clamored to fight me during the day. A deep voice sounded from the second floor. It's happy. Then came a softer voice. Stealing the S-level task list privately, should I say that that brat is ignorant? Or courting death. Although this is indeed something that Natsu would do, it is indeed a bit too much. After all, S-level missions are no more than those low-level missions. It is true, you will die. Yi, do you think this kind of guy who blatantly violates the rules of the guild can be tolerated by a powerful guild? The deep voice sounded again. Of the two people who appeared on the second floor, 
one of them was naturally Yi, and the other was Laxus. After hearing what Laxus said, Yi rubbed the center of his brows, and said helplessly, I really don't understand what you think, is a position like the president full of all kinds of troubles really so attractive to you? Quote. Laxus snorted coldly and said, I just want to build the strongest fairy tale. Then you should work hard to become stronger. If one day you are strong enough to fight against any guild, then no matter what kind of members your guild has, your guild will be the strongest. Yi Jen said loudly said. But after hearing Yi's words, Laxus fell into silence, looked straight at Yi, and thought to himself, is this the power you are after? To fight against all opponents in the world with your own strength, then you what is the current level of strength? Perhaps I will only know a thing or two when I fight with you. After silence, Laxus said, Yi, if you lose to me on the day you and I fight, then you have to obey my arrangement and help me become the president, so that fairy tale can stand on the top. Yes, Yi nodded, and continued, but if you are the one who loses that day, then you just stay in the guild honestly and witness that I crush everything. It's a deal. Laxus nodded firmly with thunder in his pupils. And after the two made an agreement, Yi suddenly spoke again, and asked something that surprised Laxus. Laxus, your personal guard should have reached level 5. Yi suddenly asked. Thunder gods. Laxus was a little surprised, but still replied, of course it has been achieved. There is a bit of pride in his words. For his personal guard Thor, he has paid a lot of effort. In addition, the three of them have not weak magic talents, so their strengths are all at the same level. Level 5. Why are you asking this all of a sudden? Laxus was puzzled. As expected of your Laxus personal guards. Yi Xiao Xiao boasted, and then said, since that's the case, let them join us on the day of our duel. N. What do you mean? Even though it was Yi who said this, Laxus was a little dissatisfied, and his brows could not help frowning. The former said this, trying to bully himself with more. He he, don't get me wrong. As soon as Yi saw Laxus' expression, he knew that the latter was probably trying to be wrong, I don't have the habit of letting myself suffer. Will, let your thunder gods fight a decisive battle with the people I arranged. Laxus's brows widened, and he asked curiously, you want to arrange people to fight against the thunder gods, it won't be those in the guild, right? Fairy queen, demon Mira, or Natsu and those brats. You'll know when the time comes. Yi patted Laxus on the shoulder, showing a mysterious smile, I believe you won't be disappointed by then. Although Laxus was still a little curious, since he expressed that he wanted to keep it mysterious, he didn't ask any more questions, but from Yi's words, he realized that the person Yi arranged was not among the people he just mentioned. Among those people. Could it be that Yi also formed a personal guard in private? Laxus shook his head and didn't want to think about it anymore, anyway, this mystery will be automatically solved that day. By the way, there is one other thing I think I need to mention to you. When he said this, Yi's eyes showed some slight changes, and there was a surge of frost, recently, the guild called, Phantom Lord, seems to be a little bit jumpy. I heard that there have been several times with our guild there has been a conflict, especially their guild leader, who seems to want to compete with us for the number one guild in the kingdom. Phantom Lord, Laxus sneered, and said disdainfully, it's just a bunch of fools. I don't think the people in the guild can't even solve a mere four elements. As for their president Jose, the old man will deal with it. Quote. After speaking, Laxus went downstairs and left. From the beginning to the end, Laxus seemed indifferent to fairy tale except for his disdain for Phantom Lord. But having known Laxus for so many years and being the only person in the guild whom the former valued, Yeke understood the former's character very well, a full-fledged Tsunere monster who is cold on the outside and hot on the inside especially when it comes to matters related to fairy tale, he might compare him in private everyone should care. People who are ruled by ghosts, be careful, this person has a bit of a temper. After Laxus left, Yi didn't choose to leave immediately, but looked at the task panel on the second floor. Suddenly, Yi frowned slightly, stepped forward, and locked his eyes on one of the task sheets. The Cursed Island, Galuna Island. This mission, why is it still here? The mission list that Happy secretly took just now is. Yi touched his chin. If his memory is correct, the S-level task list stolen by the Blue Kitten Happy in the original book should be from the Cursed Island of Galuna Island, but now it seems that some deviation. 
Yi started to check all the tasks on the task panel, and after a while, he whispered to himself, it seems that what Happy stole this time is the task of Nether Swamp, which is the lowest level in the S level. One category, especially a fire mage like Natsu, is more suitable for this task. With his current strength, he can barely complete it. Happy picked a good task this time. However, even so, taking S level missions privately must be severely punished. Mira has been idle for so long and hasn't done anything. I believe she will be interested this time. After thinking about this, he thought about it for a while, and a memory fragment flowed through his mind. His eyes locked on the task list of Galuna Island again, and he tore it off casually. Then he turned and left the guild. Her beloved miracle still waiting for him in the villa. Early in the morning, backquote president, when Makarov came to the guild, Mira walked over with a smile and said, Ye let me tell you that he found an interesting task last night, so he decided to follow it up. Gone. Oh, did he take on the mission again? Makarov was taken aback for a moment. According to Yi's temperament in the past two years, every time he took on a mission, he would wait a long time before continuing to take on the second mission. I remember that he seemed to have just completed a 10-year mission with Laxus not long ago, but he didn't expect that the interval between taking the mission this time was so short. Makarov couldn't help asking curiously, which task is he taking over? Mira laughed, it's the mission of the cursed island, Galuna Island. It turned out to be that task, okay, I understand. Makarov nodded, he, Zhao Lihao, knew about this task, although it was a bit troublesome, but there was no worry in his words brother. The surrounding guild members who also heard the conversation between the two were all secretly dumbfounded. Just hearing the name of the island of the curse, they felt eerie and terrifying. I am afraid that only those who are skilled and daring like ye would dare to accept it. Take this task. And just when Makarov thought Mira had finished reporting, the latter spoke again. Except for the mission of the cursed island that ye took over, on the mission panel on the second floor, there is still a mission list missing. And, there is no report. Nani. Myra's words not only surprised Makarov, but also shocked other members of the guild. The task list on the second floor, each one represents an S-level task that would be in danger of death if there is a slight deviation, if there is one missing without any report, wouldn't that be? Someone took the mission privately. Who is it? Could it be that Ms. Urza took the task and forgot to report it? No, Urza was here just now. While everyone was discussing and guessing, Laxus, who rarely stayed in the guild today, said casually, Last night, I saw a blue cat that seemed to have a piece of paper from the second floor. Quote. Happy. It's Natsu. With Laxus, inadvertent reminder, a group of people suddenly understood, and then looked around one after another, but they did not see Natsu and Happy. And in a corner, Lucy lowered her head and muttered in a voice that only she could hear, Have you been exposed? Natsu 020 I didn't expose you. Don't blame me. You wish for luck. In the early morning of this morning, Natsu took the S-level task list that Happy stole and went to invite Lucy, but in the end Lucy rejected it. This is an S-level task, and he took it privately. I don't have the guts. In particular, the difference from the original book is that in the mission that Happy stole this time, the bounty is only a high amount of gold coins and there is no golden key that is enough to make Lucy so tempted that he is not afraid of the horror of the S-level mission. So in the end, only Natsu and Happy, one person and one cat, went to the mission location of the S-level mission, Nether Swamp. Laxus, since you saw it, why didn't you stop it? You should know the danger of S-class missions. Makarov questioned in a deep voice. At that time, I just saw a flying cat holding a piece of paper in its mouth. How could I have thought that someone took over the super mission privately? Laxus smiled casually, and said again, besides, I wasn't the only one who saw this scene, Yi was also there. If Yi was present at this time, Yi, Addy, would have scolded Laxus for his lack of loyalty, and dragged him into the water like this. In fact, Laxus is feeling a little guilty right now, he didn't expect Yi to accept a mission after he left, Cursed Island, is it very interesting. Night. Makarov was stunned, he understood Yi's temper, he turned his head to look at Mira and asked, which one is the mission sheet missing on the second floor? Mira smiled and said, it's from the nether swamp. The nether swamp. Makarov blinked, searching for information about this mission in his mind. 
After a while, he breathed a sigh of relief, obviously also aware of the difficulty of this mission. However, it is still not allowed to accept S-level missions without authorization, Laxus, you go and bring Natsu back. Makarov said again while he was relieved. Laxus sneered, and refused bluntly, no, fairy tale doesn't need a magister who asks others to help wipe his ass, right, old man. You, Makarov said, but who else in the guild can bring Natsu back except you? Grandpa, I can't pretend that I didn't hear what you said. Gray stood up from his seat and looked at Makarov with a serious face. The latter's words just included him, and he couldn't bear the fact that he was not as good as Natsu. Seeing this, Makarov also knew that it was impossible to persuade Laxus, so he could only turn his gaze to Gray who was aside, if that's the case, then it's up to you. However, before Makarov finished speaking, Mira spoke again. I saw Mira looking at Makarov with a smile, and said softly, let me go. Opening square bracket. The moment Mira spoke, everyone who heard this sentence was stunned, even Laxus was no exception, but he recovered immediately, and his eyes shook slightly, not knowing what he was thinking. After two years, is Mira finally going to make a move? Many people are filled with excitement. Some of them still vaguely remember the demeanor of the demon Mirajan two years ago, but since a mission two years ago, for some unknown reason, Mirajan's appearance has changed. There have been earth-shaking changes, and since then, they have never seen him make a move again. Even Makarov, if it wasn't because of Myra's words, he seemed to have overlooked that there is still an S-level magister in the guild that is comparable to the fairy queen, and he just stood in front of him with a smile on his face, as the president, he would forget it. It seems that in two years, too many people have forgotten this former witch, even her president is no exception. Makarov smiled with emotion, and said with confidence, since you have plans to take action, Mira, then it's up to you to bring Natsu back. In addition, teach me a lesson for this brat, who dared to take the mission privately. Understood the president. Mira smiled slightly, and then said, by the way, count the task of Nether Swamp on me. I haven't done the task for a long time. I forgot what it feels like to do a mission, let's try this mission this time. N. Makarov nodded. Before leaving, Mira glanced lightly at the side, and Gray, who was ready to move, opened his mouth several times to say something but shrank back, couldn't help laughing, if you want to come, come together. I'll take you to see the S-Class too. The task, when the time comes, I will pick it up privately like Natsu. Haha, <laughs> thanks Mira. I'm not as stupid as that hanging eye. After being caught by Mira, Gray was not annoyed at all. He smiled embarrassingly and assured him that he was a little afraid that Mira would not take him, otherwise Natsu would definitely mock him when he came back. That all meant that the former was one step ahead of him in getting into the S-level missions. And this time, with Mira making the move, there are 9 out of 10 chances that this task will be successfully completed, and he can't be one step behind the one who hangs his eyes. While Mira and the others were acting, on the other side, Yi was also starting his mission. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.